Hi. Guys, I'm only three minutes late today. Get excited. Get excited. Ooh, that lighting. That lighting, though, is bright. Okay, so it's Wednesday. It's our Wednesday live stream. Welcome, everyone. Hello, hello. Yes, yes. Let me just scroll up here and see who all is here. <laughs> Jerry, you know, the good job gang is here. So Jerry, Lauren, Jennifer Pietka, Swimbo, Jerry Morrison, Cece. People are talking about, I think, um, their ship, like shipping taking forever is what I'm seeing. Nashing our teeth, which I totally get. Um, Jenna DiMaggio is here. Let's see. Maria McAdrian, Deborah Mitchell. Hi, guys. Toss is here. Jennifer Hoffman. Hi, Amanda Sanford. Um, oh, Deborah Mitchell said, for anyone that uses the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, Home Shopping Network is selling a full-size set for two for $26 and free shipping. Wow. Well, that's, that's some good news if I've ever heard it. Probably going to get on that. Let's see. Linda Carroll is here. Yes, Linda, you're right on time, right on time. Kelly Fisher, hi, Kate. I usually watch since I watch the live stream while on the treadmill. That's perfect. Our Emily Salas is here, Jen Pearson. All right. Well, <laughs> Toss just shouted posture. I don't know what that means, but yes, let's all work on our posture. Um, Jenny Anderson is here from Sweden. Yes. Michelle Michael, Jennifer Gould, Leslie Manville. Hi, Kate. My youngish mug is on its way. Should be here in an hour. Oh my gosh. You know what exactly when that's coming. That's kind of amazing. Oh, Toss is saying that had to do with a above comment. Yeah, I, fig I figured I walked in on something that I wasn't a part of. What is my shirt? Tara's asking me what my shirt says. I wear this all the time, but it's just like the perfect, I cut the neck, but it's from my favorite murder. And it says, you're in a cult, call your dad. It's my favorite shirt. I wear it too much, <laughs> but I love it. I just love it. Wow, the lighting's really intense today. I hope, I think it's pretty good. Actually, guys, I actually have a window over here that I've never told you about, and I just don't touch the curtains. I just haven't touched the curtains for probably like five years and I forgot that I can move the curtains. There's light coming through that window now. I could have been doing this the whole time. <laughs> That's how stupid I am. Okay, so if you guys would all be so kind as to give this a thumb, you're doing pretty good, 98 thumbs up and 126 people watching. So if you would be so kind as to give this live stream a thumbs up, um, if you would also subscribe, if you haven't done so, that would be fabulous. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and I just want to say, because I like, like just drive it home. Those things aren't just things we say to say them. They really, really help. I know I'm preaching to most of the choir right now, but that's how we kind of like move forward and survive on YouTube. So it's not just something we say for fun. It actually matters. So please subscribe. Please give this a thumbs up. And um, the other thing I want to say is you always have the super chat option. You can send a super chat my way and everyone has a good old time with that. You can also, oh shoot, I don't know if I put it in my description box. Let me do that really quick. So the description box super important is right below the video. You can find almost, I think everything I'm talking about today within reason, unless I get super spontaneous is listed in the description box. Um, and I'm also going to put 
very quickly my Venmo and PayPal information, which is another option if you don't want to if you want to send a super chat, but you want to make sure I uh, get all the money instead of YouTube getting a cut, you can send it to my Venmo and PayPal, which I will very quickly list here. And Randy, my moderator in the next room, will also put it in the chat. Okay, done and done. Perfect. Let me just get back into the chat here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Perfect. Yes. All right. Okay, great. So, oh, yes. And Randy put it in the chat. Oh, someone said they love my nail color. Guys, I get a lot of comments on my nail color. And so I'm trying to be diligent about putting it. It That was the last thing I did before I before I went live. I was like, I've got to put my nail polish in the description box because I get a lot of questions about that. A lot of questions about my head wraps. This, I will tell you right now, I got it years ago at Urban Outfitters. So I don't know. Good luck. <laughs> it's just a giant scarf. Um, but this is from ILNP and I linked it in the description box. Um, it's my new favorite nail polish brand. And uh, like I said last time, I'm, I'm really considering just doing a declutter and getting, getting rid of all of my other brands of nail polish. That's how amazing this is. So this is actually, this is a, it's called Tilted and it's like a duo chrome. So it's mostly purple, but you can, I don't know if it's picking up, but it has a little bit of like an olive flip to it, which is really, really cool. Um, and they're just super shiny and fun and vivid. I love like a gem, t uh, gem tone. Why am I, is that what I'm trying to say? Gem tone? Nails? <laughs> Why can't I talk? Why can't I think? What's happening? Jewel tone. <laughs> Jewel tones. Jewel, Linda Griffin is here. Oh my gosh. Hi, Linda. Oh, thank God Linda's here. I don't know that I've seen Linda at a uh, at a live stream, so I'm very, very excited. And my friend Sarah Kleinsmith is here as well. Gem Stone is what I was thinking, but Jewel Tone. You know, you get it. Um, Marcella says, how long does it last? I wash a lot of dishes and do stuff at my house. This shit does not come off yo nails. Okay. Period. This is normal polish. It's not a gel. It's nothing. I do dishes all the time. Um, I had no chipping and I want to say I had that last like light blue color on for at least a week, if not like close to nine days, not one chip, nothing. So I'm not saying. <laughs> You better get on it. Um, Stephanie said, I feel like your eye color looks different in this light. Yes, there's lots of daylight coming in. I probably look like a vampire. <laughs> better off red is here. This golden hour light has your eyes popping. <laughs> it's, it stays light so early now. It's crazy. Like when I used to start these live streams at seven, it was dark. And now it's light. That would be light. Someone's asking me, we're getting into a really in-depth discussion on nail polish right off the bat. The top coat I use is the original, the OPI, OP, OPI. I, I never know how to say these brands. <laughs> um, original start to finish base coat, top coat, and strengthener in one. I should have linked that. I didn't. So people are really getting in there about, wow, the nail polish questions are intense. Tara Breeden, do you put a top coat over the nail polish or just the polish by itself? Okay, I'm going to break it down. <laughs> this is what I did. I, I put that as a base coat, two coats of the nail polish, then used that base coat as a top coat because it's a, it's a three in one sitch. And there you have it. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay. Uh -huh. What did I miss? What did I miss? Maricela said, wow, you sold me, girl. Yeah, I did. Oh, I know, girl. I know. 
No, but really, this nail polish is legit. <laughs> okay, so yes, yes. I think we've covered everything to start. And what else? What else? Well, oh, Sassy Red is here. So guys, I have to tell you, I, I really, really, <laughs> I was talking to Sarah, better off red, and she was like, girl, I'm sorry, you just had a shit sandwich of a day. As my friend Katie Wetzel says, it was a shit sandwich with no condiments. Um, <laughs> that's not true. There are some condiments on there today. It wasn't like, it wasn't a no condiments shit sandwich kind of day. Um, but basically I went to the post office. I think we all know where this is going, <laughs> which is really just a mistake. I mean, like nothing good can ever come of that. You know what I mean? Lauren's like, why? Well, let me tell you. So something very exciting is that pharmacy contacted me over a month ago and they wanted to put me to send me PR. And, you know, I was so excited and super, they were super generous and they were sending me their, their new release, which is no longer a new release and a box of refills and all this stuff. So I was like waiting for this box, never came, said it was delivered. No trace of it. No trace of it. I heard a box drop outside my door but I was sleeping. So I went about an hour later, no box, nothing. Not in the lobby, not at our door. Um, I like went online and tried to, you know, talk to someone. That was stupid. Why did I do that? So then I went, to, so we have two post office here, right? I live in Harlem. So the, the one closest to us is 116th street, which is an absolute shit show. And I went there and stood in line forever and had these tracking orders. I've actually had two packages that said they were delivered and they never showed up. So I went there and they were like, you don't, you, you can, this is not where you come. You need to go to 125th street after standing in line for 45 minutes. So, and I kind of knew that was going to happen. I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to 125th street today. I woke up and I'm like, you know what? I'm a glutton for punishment. I'm going to walk my ass on over to 125th Street just to say I did everything I could to try to find this box. So I walked to 125th. The line was, again, at least 45 minutes long. I also stood in the wrong line, which is my fault. <laughs> just because no one knows. There's so many lines. You don't know which line it is. Oh my God, Jennifer, $100 just because, holy shit. And $15 from Tiffany Bennett, love the nail polish and love watching you. Wow, Jennifer who? I, I have to, let me, let me access, oh, Jennifer Pietka. Oh my God, a girl, a girl. Well, I take it back. There are some condiments on this shit sandwich today. In fact, it's not a shit sandwich. What's, what's better than a shit sandwich. Jennifer, that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the Venmos. And Tiffany, I believe it was Tiffany. It's all a haze, guys. I just see these, I see the notification and I just read it really quick. Um, so, so I go, we haven't even, we've only just begun. So I'm like, Marco Poloing with Michelle and Sarah. I'm bitching in my mask, like very quietly, because it's a very quiet post office, which I guess is nice. D like you could hear a pin drop. Everyone's, you have to wear masks in New York City now. So everyone's in a mask. Realize I'm in the wrong line. Go to the other line, stand in that to go to package pickup. And I can hear like the people in front of me are having interactions with this one woman who's working the package pickup and I hear an older gentleman say, well, you don't have to get an attitude with me now. I'm like, Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. I'm like, I see, I see, I see where we're going with this. <laughs> Lauren boils it boilers. And here it goes. So, you know, I approach the lion's den with just 
the kindest, calmest demeanor. <laughs> and I go up there and I explain, you know, I've had this package that was delivered um, on April 11th and I had the tracking number, but it never, it was like not there. And she was like, And I was like, I didn't do that, but I was, that's like how I felt inside. And then she was like, give me the tracking number. Like literally like that. I was like, <laughs> but I didn't do that. I was like, okay. So I pull it out. I try to give it to her. She's like, I'm not touching that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, fine. So I read it to her in my clearest voice that's just like resounding throughout <laughs> this quiet, giant post office. She types it in, you know, like lickety split, comes up. She's like, well, it says it was delivered. And I was like, right, exactly. So that that's why I'm here because it says it was delivered and I'm trying to inquire about it. She's like, well, I, if it says it was delivered, it was delivered. And I was like, well, that's not, I don't think that's actually true all the time <laughs> because I've had things that said they were delivered and they weren't. And then she, I was like, listen, I went to 116th street first. Okay. <laughs> Sarah Kleinsmith. Oh my God. This story is making me angry. <laughs> so I was like, I went to 116th street first and they told me to come here. And she's like, well, I don't know why they told you to come here. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, ma'am, I, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just inquiring about a package. I'm just doing as I was, I was, I was instructed to do. I'm like, at this point, like I'm ready to like go over there and rip her face off and throw it across the room. But I'm just like being as nice as I can possibly be because I know how awful these people's jobs are. So then I'm like, well, I, you know, she's like, well, I don't know what you want me to do. And I was like, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know what I want you to do either. I guess I'm just here to ask you what, what can be done? You know, I mean, I want to try to find this package. She's like, well, it sounds like it was stolen. And I was like, well, it could have been stolen. It could have been stolen, but we, I don't know that. She's like, well, that's, I'm sure what it was. And I was like, well, we can't know that. And she's like, well, it's not our fault. <laughs> I was like, it was like she was Martin Short in that SNL skit where he's got that sweaty upper lip on that like 60 Minutes show and he's like, I'm not defensive. Why would I be defensive? I'm not, I mean, I'm not, that's not what I'm saying, I'm not defensive. Like she was so defensive and I was just like, I am not, I'm not accusing anyone. Um, I just, I'm trying to just find this package. That's all I'm trying to do. And she's like, well, it's, I, there's nothing to do. She's like, it, you, you can talk to your building about the cameras. And I was like, okay, here's the thing. It's like, listen, I'm just thinking maybe it could be in the back. Like, is there a chance that it could still be? She's like, it was a month ago. And I was like, it was, it was a month ago. And she's like, the, now you haven't even heard the worst of it. Just wait. She was like, ma'am, you, like yelling like the whole place it's like a spaghetti western they're like tumbleweeds everyone's just like boop everyone's listening and watching she's like ma'am you seem like an intelligent woman you see all these packages back here you think a package from a month ago is back here and i was done and i was like you know what ma'am i just want to tell you I realize you guys are under a lot of stress and I'm sure you get mistreated and it's an ugly job, but I came up here. I've been very nice. I've been very calm and very clear. And you are literally yelling at me while I'm asking about a package. That's not cool. It's, and it's, it's honestly ridiculous. And she's like, I'm not yelling at you yelling at me. <laughs> and I was like, you are yelling at me. She's like, ma'am, have a good day have a good day. She walks away and I was like, wow. I was like, this really takes the cake for, for post office visits. I just have to say this is absolutely ridiculous. And then I turned into that person. I was that gal walking out of there being like, <laughs> just my hair is on fire. 
everyone is staring at me and I was like, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Just like walking out, talking to myself out loud. I was just like, ah! Ah! and then I like bitched about it to <laughs> Sarah and Michelle, a Marco Polo. And Michelle was like, I mean, they both, they both got it. And I know Sarah's actually had a lot of issues with package theft too, where she lives, but it also, you know, Michelle's lived in New York, so she gets it. We were just loudly agreeing, but I was like, uh, anyway, that's all to say the package is, I've said goodbye to the package. The package is it's not ever gonna be found and I'm never ever going back to that God forsaken establishment. <laughs> five dollars from Clarissa Fell. Love ya. That's so sweet. Thank you for the PayPal, Clarissa. My dad is here. Hi, dad. Um, anyway, that's my story. Wow. It really, that really got me going. Mmm. Mmm. Georgia, why didn't she just get the supervisor to help you if she didn't want to? Okay. Okay, so here's something I've seen this comment kind of roll by. <clears throat> Guys, I don't I don't know that you've been to a New York City post office. There's no supervisor. And if there is, <laughs> I've never met one. Like, I can't even imagine what would have happened if, if I was like that woman, if I was like that that woman who was like, can I speak to your manager? Like in Harlem, she would have flipped herself over that plastic thing in front of us and murdered me. Ain't no supervisor around here, okay? Every man for himself. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Kirsten Glay Parker, I think you can file a stolen package online. I mean, yes, thank you. I guess I will. I mean, uh, sure. Okay. I've been so beaten down by years <laughs> of like stuff like that in New York. I'm like, eh, that's not going to do anything. Linda Griffin used to live here and she gets it. <laughs> okay. What did I miss? <laughs> just commentary Jenna I thought you were going to say it was in the back the whole time but that's terrible I'm so because it's the thing too it's like and then I'll be done but I just don't understand because she was acting like that's an impossibility that there could just be a package in the back for a month that could ha that's happened to me before like just hanging out that never I don't know who knows and then apparently, you know, I'm an idiot for asking. Anyway. Also, remember that day that like three or four missing packages all arrived up on like the same day? I do. Randy brings up a good point. Some time ago, we had like, oh, Jennifer, $100. When are you going to get a P.O. box? <laughs> My gosh, there's so many things happen. Would someone else send me $100? Holy. Holy shikes! And Kat, Kat sent me, oh, it was Jennifer P. Wait, Jennifer Pieka, did you just send me $200? Jennifer, are you drunk? Are you going to take this back later? Are you going to regret this in the morning? <laughs> just like, like, oh, looking at your phone, like, what did I do? Oh, God. Oh, God. I Venmo K the great $200. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Jennifer, I mean, wow, just you're winning. You're winning the day. Thank you so much. P.O. Box. Okay, I know, but here's the thing. They're not available. I checked. The nearest P.O. Box that's available is at like Lincoln Center. They're all filled up. Yeah, guys, um, if you've been thinking about moving to New York City lately, probably, probably you haven't. But if you have, let, me, let this be a warning to you. Don't do that. <sighs> but thank you so much, Jennifer. I mean, that's like insane. Also, Kat Reisky, first time here, tweeted you, Michelle and Alicia, my goddesses, a link to a Chanel documentary. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Well, I'm very excited. Thank you for the super chat. Wow, guys, making it rain. Oh, Maria McAdrian. Oh, I missed this. She sent me $20 on PayPal. This is, I'm so angry at that damn post office story. I'm from Chicago, so I get it. Thank you, Maria. You do get it. You get it. It's, I'm sure it's a city thing. <clears throat> Michelle Michael, to restore your faith in humanity, a very small local business has stepped up and organized making free masks while recruiting volunteers. They're at 12K as of today. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Cece, did you check the rats party in the basement? They have the package. Exactly. Exactly. The rats are just, the rats have the most like luscious visages you've ever seen. They're just like, mmm, this honey push. Who oh, no. knew? Hope whoever has that package is really enjoying it. Jamie K. <laughs> I live in Philly, so I know what it's like trying to get packages delivered. I'm lucky to have retired neighbors who watch my house like a hawk and grab anything on my stoop longer than five seconds. That's awesome. That is so, so sweet. Toss has to go. Bye, Toss. Thanks for stopping by. Christian Milano, with everything that is going on in New York, do you ever feel like you want to get the hell out of the city and live somewhere more chill? Christian, please. I felt that since day one. <laughs> Don't make me go through all the reasons why I'm still here. <laughs> there are reasons. I just can't. I don't have the energy to <laughs> explain them anymore. But yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. But you know what? It gives me great stories to bitch about. Isn't that, isn't that spatial? Brooklyn-based beauty. I got my plush sweatshirt and I'm very happy with it. That's awesome. I'm so glad. I know people were waiting a long time for those orders. I also wanted to tell you guys, I'm going to get started on the makeup. We are going to do makeup. Um, Wanted to tell you that there is a sale on my merch coming up to, starting tomorrow night at midnight. So I'll, you know, put it up on Instagram and stuff like that. But it's 10% off with a code. So get excited. Okay. Tara, how long have you lived in New York? I've lived here for, I don't, I think it's been between 14 and 15 years. I can't keep track anymore, but. Okay, so I am going to start. So today we are going to be doing a, like I'm using kind of a lot of, yeah, pretty good amount of new products or products that I don't use a lot, which is great. Oh, Sassy Red, she said 258 people and only 172 likes. Come on, people. Yes, if, you, if you're new here, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Okay, so first things first. So we're going to do a, um, like a clean, simple eye, but like a really bold, fabulous magenta matte lip. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. It's the illuminating one. It looks like that. It does have like a little bit, um, it's not a tint, but it comes out kind of like shell, shell colored. Sassy Red is damn, she's going to work for me. <laughs> He's like, thumbs up and subscribe, everyone. Subscribe. Oh, there's always one gnat, isn't there, when I'm filming? Always one gnat. Oh, Jamie said, ColourPop only just started shipping again within the last week or two. Oh, that's such a relief. I didn't know that. They had closed down their distribution center because there's stuff that I want to try from them, but I, I didn't know that they were shipping. So that is awesome news. Barnes 4031, Tito's in the Quad, yes. 
Okay, so we're nice and dewy. Oh, I forgot, hold on a second. Had the overhead light. It probably doesn't help at all, but I just helps a little bit probably. Um, okay, so next I'm gonna move on to a new foundation. I like never have new foundation. So this is a drugstore foundation for all the cheap asses out there. Where my cheap ass is at? <laughs> Where you at, kids? I'm kidding. I mean, kind of. Um, so this is the Milani Screen Screen Queen Screen Queen. Why is that so hard to say? I want to say Scream Queen. Oh my God! There's a gnat here, and it won't go away. Okay, so this is the Screen Queen. Uh, is a natural finish foundation. I ordered it, so I had to kind of, I had to guess, obviously, at the shade. This is 100, 140 nude ivory, and it is, in fact, too light for me. But never fear, never fear, because what we're going to do is we're going to, this is the reason I got this. I have a, I have an actual full size of this coming to me that I guess was backward from Sephora or something. Anyway, this is the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. And it was actually Stephanie Marie. I believe, who said that a great way to fix foundation that's too light is to add a few drops of this in. And I tried it and it was great. It was really, really nice. So I'm just going to kind of mix that until it gets to a point that I feel like matches my skin tone. That doesn't look good on camera, but it'll be okay, I promise. Um, okay. Christian, look at all these cheap asses. We we cheap ass strong. Yes. Gina Piccolo is here. Hi. Laura Libner. Hey, Laura. How are you? So I've actually really been digging on these um, these sunshine drops, these bronze drops from Drunk Elephant. I've been using them every day. When I go out and run errands, I just am giving you a dewy face with no makeup and I put a few drops and just like pat it into my cheeks for some color and it looks so dewy and bronzed and natural and it's just, it's just a beautiful glowy situation. So I'm a huge fan of those. Randy, quick suggestion, y'all. Make cheap ass one word so I don't have to approve every comment that contains the word ass on its own. <laughs> Winky face. Okay, noted. Someone said, Laura Presley, I haven't seen any good feedback on that foundation. Really? I really like it. I mean, especially for a drugstore, right? I mean, I'm not, I'm not like holding this to the standard of like my holy grail, you know, Charlotte Tilbury foundation or anything, but actually Audra at home, I believe liked this. I, I could be wrong, but I, I, I remember watching a review she did and her skin was freaking gorgeous with it. My dad said, no, no cheap asses. You are frugal, thoughtful people. That's right. You know that's what I meant. Just kidding. Stephanie Windsor having a Glen Fittage 15 year on ice. Wow. Yes. Fancy. Bonnie Zinn said, I got the Bite Beauty Foundation and Hollywood Flawless Filter based on your reviews and I love them. Those are two of my favorite, favorite, favorite products. I have to say this with those sunshine drops, this is the exact color of my skin. I mean, <laughs> but I mean. Okay, I think we're good. I really like this. I've worn it a few times. I haven't put it in any of my 
videos, like my non live stream videos this is the first time I've actually talked about it on camera, but I have nothing bad to say. I'm trying to find something. I got nothing. Brooklyn based beauty. Are you upset about the physician's formula foundation? It's been discontinued. Yes, I am. I'm devastated actually. And I don't understand why it's been discontinued. I still have Oh shoot, did I throw it out? I think I might've thrown it out because it was just getting so busted. Like the top was just getting crazy, but that was my favorite drugstore foundation. And I, I mean, I hope the thing they came out with is better because I'm not happy about it. Okay, I'm taking a drink. Mm. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Glossier uh, Stretch Concealer. That's the foundation, or the concealer we're going to be using today. This is a concealer I use when I'm not doing, I mean, not that I <laughs> am big on doing heavy eye looks, but... I definitely use it for more natural eye looks, like a baby eye, or like maybe I'm just doing a couple swipes of mascara because um, it's really moisturizing. It's really hydrating. So, you know, if you do like any intense, you know, sort of like lining of the under eye or using shadow, I feel like it could transfer, which you might think, okay, well, that's not great, but I just, I love this foundation. Or why do I keep calling it foundation? You could use it as foundation actually, but I love this concealer so much. I just think it looks like skin. It's beautiful. And I'm also just going to put that on my lid as well because we're doing like no color on the lid pretty much. Okay. Around the nose a little bit here. Are people asking what I'm drinking? Yes, I'm having, I'm, oh, I didn't say that. I'm having a Tito's Greyhound or a Salty Dog or whatever you want to call it. It's just grapefruit juice and Tito's. Kate Puglia, I use a stretch concealer and put the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush uh, powder on top of it the other day and there was no mascara transfer. Yeah, no, like that, that Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless powder is the truth. It's the damn truth, okay? And I am actually probably gonna set my under eye. You know what, I'm gonna, I didn't put this in the box, but I'm gonna pull it out. I'm going to use my Pat McGrath, just very lightly to set that. Stephanie Rogers, I'm going, okay. Opinions on Maybelline Tattoo Studio Cream Shadows. I cannot speak to that. I don't know anything about those, but maybe someone else can. Okay. What are we gonna do next? What's next? Okay, so this is kind of fun. So this look is actually inspired by Katie Jane Hughes. I was going through her Instagram the other day. She, if you don't follow her, she does some of the most creative, innovative things with makeup I've ever seen. And a lot of the time it's really easy. It's applicable. You know what I mean? Like you can try it yourself. It, it doesn't feel daunting. Like it looks like really high fashion editorial, but it's just all about pretty simple application techniques, um, but things that people don't always think of, which I love about her. So I put her, shit, I put her in my description box. Katie Jane Hughes, she's also Katie Jane Hughes on Instagram. Definitely follow her. So the cream blush I'm gonna be using today, this is totally her thing. I would never have thought about this. I'm. She loves the Waleda skin food. So the lipstick we're gonna be using today, get excited guys, is called Flat Out Fabulous from MAC. 
and we're gonna be using this as a cream blush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of the lipstick on my finger, okay? Take the latest skin food, put some of that on my finger, and just mix it. Actually, that's not quite as pigmented as I want it to be. Hold on a second. Let me redo that. I put a little bit too much. See, that skin food, I'm telling you what. That, damn it, dropping everything. <laughs> that skin food is so rich. You just need like a little teeny tiny bit. Yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it, the top of that finger. That's perfect. And also it just literally is just a natural highlight. It's just gorgeous. Sassy Red, are you giving this a middle finger? I mean, I don't know. Maybe, Mabes. No, I wouldn't do that to you guys, you know. Laura's asking, how do you get someone's name in the orange box when you tag them on here? That's actually a really good question. I, I had trouble with that too at one point. So if someone can answer that for Laura, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Christian said, to the lady at the post office. Exactly right, exactly right. So now that I already have some pretty glossy cheeks, I'm just gonna go in with the actual lipstick itself and kind of, I know you're like, wow, Kate, that's a lot. Well, just hold on, hold on. I know, I know. We're gonna, we're gonna make it better. Barb Wright, I love that. I suppose any moisturizer mixed with lipstick could work. Yeah, absolutely. I don't, I mean, yes, for sure. The Walid, the Waleda skin food is really great. Like, look at how beautiful that looks. Just like, I could just stop right now and just look glowy as hell. You know what I mean? Um, it's, it's so good. I linked it. You can get it at Ulta, which is where I linked it, or Target. Um, it, it a little bit goes a long way and this is like my go-to hand cream. So I'm going to do that right now. I also like to rub it into my neurals and my cuticles. Okay. So moving on. I think we've got enough cream blush for the moment. Now I'm gonna set all of that. We're gonna come back to the lipstick. Oh, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Let's see, I don't know. I, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Beautifully Bare blush, but I'm starting to think, or sorry, am I even thinking tonight? <laughs> Just not thinking and then talking. Um, my e.l.f. Beautifully Bare powder We'll see if it sets it enough. I might need to go in with something a little bit more mattifying because this is so dewy. I've also linked the brushes and tools I'm using down below. So this is the BK Beauty um, 102 powder brush. It's the bunny on your face that I talk about all the time. Um, and I do have a code for BK Beauty if you guys want to try it. I have a 10% off code. Actually, that's setting it really beautifully. So I think I'm just going to keep it.
Okay. Guys, I'm so excited. You know what I'm breaking out? I got it. Everyone's talking about it. It's the Kosas. This is the most extra title I've ever heard of. It's called, it's not even on the back. Thanks a lot, Kosas. Thanks for nothing. You are no drunk elephant. Let me try to remember it by heart. The Kosas Sun Show Moisturizing Baked Bronzer. You're welcome. Because <laughs> that's what it's called, okay? Um, and this is in the shade Light. And it is a very, very pigmented, glowy bronzer. I tried it and just like one uh, pat of the brush and it was, it was intense. So we're gonna try to be careful here, um, but it, it is beautiful. And if you like a glowy bronzer, I, I mean, this, this is your, this is your bag. using my Refer P22 brush. I'm patting it in the bronzer and then like putting some on my arm, just <sighs> taking a drink, cause I'm telling you. I'm just scrolling up to see what I missed. Bonnie Zinn said, I finally got my BK brushes yesterday. And yes, again, you are spot on with the bunny description. They are truly so, so good. Sassy Red, my hubby bought me the BK beauty brushes for Mother's Day. They are gorgeous. Bunny feet on my face. <laughs> yes, we love a bunny foot on our face. We love that. CC said, people are slacking on the thumbs up. Guys, we have a 302 people here. This is amazing. If you haven't thumbs up it, thumbs up it. <laughs> If you haven't thumbs this up, do it. Elizabeth Schroeder is here. Hey. Okay. We're going to bronze now. We need to be careful not to get... I'm bronzing my... It's a problem when you wear like a white head wrap. Because <laughs> I, I always try to make sure the bronzer really like gets into my hairline so you can't see any sort of an edge. We'll just put that put that back for now. This actually is going on pretty gradually right now. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I was wrong about, <laughs> or maybe my face was not quite set enough when I put it on the other day. That might've been it. Laura said, I just thumbs up the video. Thank you, Laura. Maria McAdrian, my 24 year old daughter has taken to wearing head wraps. She works with kids with behavioral health problems and it saves her from the hair pulling. That girl makes me so damn proud. Wow, you should be proud. That's good for her. Wow. Hair pulling, huh? Whew. Okay, so, but do you see the glow? You're seeing it up here? We're gonna go back and blend it out. Like, don't don't you worry. <laughs> we'll just blend until the end of time. Yes, yes, we all know. No, we don't know actually. We all we I actually didn't know until today that someone mentioned Tati put put <laughs> this in her fails. Huh. Okay. Cece, Tati who? I don't know. <laughs> Tati who? Okay. I think that's good. I think that's good. Maybe just a little bit more though. Like just a little bit more. Oh, is Britt Clark here? Britt Clark is here. Yes. Guys, Britt Clark just did a collab with Glitter Fallout. Can you think of a more fun collab? I cannot. So definitely check it out. They did their Ulta sale um, wish list or like what's in their carts. So good. 
So, so good. Teresa, $20. You are so entertaining. Love your channel. Oh, thank you so much for the Venmo, Teresa. Teresa Byers, everyone. Thank you. Guys, Tati is just like one of the most famous like beauty YouTubers that ever lived. So if you're wondering who it is, that's that's who we're talking about. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Things are falling everywhere. Well, that was my lipstick, so I'm gonna need that. Oh my God, where did it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm a mess and it, I don't even know why. Like this, I have, this is the least amount of products I think I've ever used in a get ready with me. I know, I, I had a moment of panic. Bonnie's like, you better find it. I'm like, oh God, what do I do? I can't find it. <laughs> okay. Oh, Letty is here. Hi, Letty. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in just a little bit. You know I love to do this. I do this every time, but I'm sorry, not sorry. This is my Hourglass, Hourglass Ambient Powder and Diffused Light. Jennifer Pieca, I want a bold lip. Oh, Jennifer, you're getting one. Just wait, just wait. I just like to do this. It's like an extra polishing step just to make sure that like, you know, everything's blended and looks fullerless. Okay, I think that's good. I could go a little bit more of the bronzer. Do you think? What do you think? Thoughts? Thoughts? <sighs> hmm. No one's answering me. I'm waiting. Lauren, yes, more, 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 more. We're going for like, just got back from Hawaii. Okay, I'm done. Maybe. No, I'm not. Okay, now I'm done. Now I'm done. <laughs> okay. Now, moving on to brows. Brows. We're going to do, I'm very excited because I'm breaking out my Glossier Grow Flick. Glossier Grow Flick? What is happening? It's amateur hour over here at Kate the Great Beauty. Come on, come all. Okay, this is the Glossier Brow Flick. I think I used all my articulation at the post office today and that's that's where that ended. So we're gonna use this. Okay, first we're gonna go in with the Glossier Boy Brow. Someone's telling me to hit my collarbones with, so oh, with the bronzer. Okay, okay. Oh, I could do that. I could do that. Should I do that? Is that what I should do? Apparently I'm very easily influenced. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna show up on here though. <laughs> Amanda, Amanda, bronze them bones, girl, bronze them bones. Your, my neck is too light. Well, Lauren, I can't do anything about how light my neck is. <laughs> got a pasty neck. What can I say? Got a pasty ass neck. There, are you happy? And we're blending, we're blending. 
All right, I'm, I'm done. I'm like, <laughs> this is doing nothing. What am I even doing? Okay, whatever, we're done with that. So now I am going to do my brows. That's what I was gonna do. This is the bra the the boy brow in the boy br guys I swear I am not like I've had like <laughs> not even half a drink the boy brow say it with me everyone I'm using the glossier boy brow in brown use your words <clears throat> CC yoga breathe Kate okay thank you CC. I actually do feel better. Teresa's asking us, oh, asking me if we've watched any movies since Guys and Dolls. Yes, well, we started watching Friday Night Lights again. Now, if you guys don't know, Friday Night Lights is my favorite series of all time. Favorite series of all time. Um, and Randy saw a few episodes, but like he only, I think he only saw two or three. So, and he got me the five season Blu-ray set. So we're rewatching it guys. If you haven't seen Friday Night Lights, like I don't even know what you're doing with your life. And I'm, I am mad at you. And it's not okay. And you shouldn't feel okay about it at all. Um, it's it's so, so good. It's You're like, oh, it's about football. No, I don't even like football, okay? I don't like, it's not about football. It's such an artfully filmed and acted and directed series. You don't even have to care. Like, that's the thing though. I don't really like football, but you care so much about the characters. It's so well done that I actually start caring about the football. <sighs> Now that's saying something. Okay. So we're watching that. I mean, everyone from that series is just killing the game. Can we talk about it? Kyle Chandler, Connie Britton, Michael B. Jordan, Jesse Plemons. Um, I mean, that's enough right there. Like all those people are just nailing it. I think anyone who ever does anything with Peter Berg is like set for the rest of their life, honestly. He also did, I think he did Parenthood, which I loved as well. If someone, ta if if someone talks smack about Friday Night Lights, I swear to God. If I see someone, oh no. Kimberly Langenderfer, Coach Taylor. Oh, we ordered uh, sushi bowls. Coach Taylor is everything to me. <laughs> Listen, he's so amazing. And I have to say, Kyle Chandler is not not somebody that you want to have on your bad side. You just, you don't. Oh, Taylor Kitsch. Taylor Kitsch, killing it, playing David Koresh in Cult, which is like so well done. Cult? <laughs> David Koresh in Waco, but it's a cult though. But it's a but you're in a cult, call your dad. And it's Waco. Get out. Oh wait, nobody did. Terrible. Really, really bad. Okay. So now Molly O'Hara, Kyle Chandler is a snack. He is a snack. He's a snack. Taylor Kitsch is a snack. Oh, Minka Kelly. I mean, actually, she's really hasn't done anything lately, but does she have to? She's she's so damn pretty. Okay, yes, Jerry Morrison, did you watch Kyle Chandler on Bloodline? Oh, Jerry, did I ever? Bloodline is also another show that I'm just like, he, the first season of that show is flawless, flawless. Okay, now I have to focus, okay? But we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back. <laughs> I have to focus because this is the 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 brow flick and I've never used this on camera. 
So this is supposed to sort of like, again, Katie Jane Hughes loves this product and it's a felt tip, a felt tip uh, pen. And I'm gonna go in and like accentuate the hairs to really make it look like extra feathered. Pokey bowl time. Pokey, poke bowl. There's this amazing place called Makawani, Makawana Hawaiian barbecue and poke bowls. They make the best poke bowls. So he got the ocean bowl, which is um, salmon and tuna. And I got the tuna with the salmon with extra salmon. <laughs> Could I have the salmon bowl with the extra salmon on the side and some more salmon? Thanks. Salmon's good for the skin, guys, I'm telling you. Okay, so see, it's like a very bold brow, but that's what we're doing. That's how we're, that's how we're rolling. And then I let it set. I'll do my, my other brow and then I let it set and then I come back and brush it out just a little bit so it looks very natural. Very natch, if you will. I'm gonna do just a little bit more boy brow here. What am I missing? What's happening? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna drop everything I before I use it. It's fine. <sighs> Bruce it says Bruce Mason is here. Oh, poor Terry. My name is Terry. Bruce is my husband's name. I don't know why it keeps happening. Well, we know that you're Terry now. Terry. Sassy Red, what is bloodline? I must know. Okay, hold the phone. Stop the presses. Alert the media. Bloodline is on Netflix. Okay, if you're looking something for something to watch, you need to watch it tonight. It has Ben Mendelsohn. This is another like all-star cast. It's Kyle Chandler, Ben Mendelsohn, who plays this like down and out brother who just can't do anything right. Sissy Spacek, Sam, why can't I, why can't I ever remember? Randy. What, what, who does he play? No, the father. Oh, oh. Sam, uh, he's a famous playwright. Sam, oh, someone knows, somebody knows. Um. Damn it. Shepard, Sam Shepard, how shameful of me. <laughs> Sam Shepard, um, Maria, she's also on Green in Green Book and Maria, she has an Italian last name. She's fantastic as well. I can't remember it right now. But anyway, it's a great cast. It's about this, it's, it's a family drama. They live in the Keys, but it also becomes like a mystery. It's, it's just, it's so good. It's so, so good. Okay. Teresa Gudegang, Maria Italiano. I don't think that's it, but for now. So the thing about the, the brow flick is that you just need to be like intentional. Like you can't be scared, you know what I mean? You just have to like flick, like literally flick, 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 and kind of draw it above your brow. Linda Cardellini. <laughs> I said Maria. No, definitely not Maria. Linda Cardellini. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly who I meant. She's fantastic. So that and Friday Night Lights, okay? That's that's your um your homework. So now Oh, Linda Griffith's leaving. Bye, Linda. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, Linda. 
Now I'm going to take a spoolie. If I can find one, I know I have like four. Here it is. Okay, so now this side has kind of dried, so I'm going to just go over it lightly with the spoolie and brush up just to make it look super de duper natural. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit more because it isn't dried. Okay, now, now, guys, we're so close to being done. This is a very, very simple look. Um, we're gonna do the mascara, of course. How could we forget? And I'm going to be using, I used this last time, this is the Bambi Eye Mascara. I'm really trying to like get in there and use it. I used it again today when I went out and I have to say, I like it. It's not as, again, the wand, it's not as easy to bandy about as the roller lash because it's fat. You know what I mean? So you have to be a little bit careful when you apply it, but it does give you like really long separated lashes. Oh yes, Linda Cardellini's on Dead to Me. That's And that new season has come out, which I actually have to watch. Have to watch that. Oh, Christina Applegate, yes. Justine said, Dead to Me is fun. I love Christina Applegate. She is such a revelation on that show. Wow, like that is such a fantastic role for her. She's so real. She is like, I I don't know who else could play such a biting, I mean, she's kind of a difficult person to like and yet I like her. I don't understand. Oh, Jenny said, I watched Dead to Me last night, the whole thing. Holy, Jenny, did you sleep? That's wild. <laughs> Sassy red, I just spit. Sassy red, her sarcasm is so on point. It really is. She's just. I mean, they're both great. They're both really, really great. I always like to really paint those end lashes because like those matter, you know what I mean? Like they give you that nice, they draw your eye out a little bit. Why do I have to make that face when I do this? I hate that. I look up in the camera and I'm like, huh! I'm like, <laughs> God, sorry guys, jeez Louise. doing it again, aren't I? I'm doing it again. It's the concentration face. Um, and I'm just going to do the top lashes. I'm not going to do the bottom. We're keeping it very, very simple today because the lip, the lip is the saw, the straw. Okay, perfect. Now I'm just going to go back in to this eyebrow now that it's dried and just kind of comb it out a little bit. See this, so it drives me nuts. This brow, this left brow is always higher than the other brow. So it's like I, that's about as even as it gets for me. <laughs> yeah. See now, this is where we could obsess all day. You know what I mean? Like the, <laughs> the brows. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No, but there's just one part right here that is just, <laughs> this is where I take the boy brow and you just go in. I'm being obsessive right now. Just, just, just so you know, I fully acknowledge it.
Okay. What I actually have to do is I have to basically like overdo this brow and like um, underdo this one. So I usually like fluff this up and like underdo this one, whatever. Just, you get it, you get what I'm saying. Oh, geez. Okay, now on to thank God that's done. Now on to, on to the mascara. Beauty guru. Beauty Guru Mel, they're sisters, not twins. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Your brows are sisters, not twins. Bye, Jenny. Oh, Shaza BT said, I got the two mascaras on your recommendation. She's talking about the Benefit Roller Lash and the Monsieur Big. And she said, damn it, my lashes are luscious. Yes. No, that's the best combination ever, like period. So good. Painting the ends, painting the ends. Find your inner Bob Ross, get in there, just paint them. So I'm just reading the comments. Okay. I have to fall very silent when I do the, the mascara and the brows. It takes a lot of concentration. I've got to get them right. I've got to get them right. Okay. Now it's time to take a drink. Mm. We're coming so close, guys. Okay, so next we are indeed, wait. You thought we were done with blush. Oh, you thought we were done with blush, but we're not. Cause we're gonna drive it all home with this bomb ass Laura Mercier um, blush color infusion. So pretty. This is in the shade Strawberry, which is a matte pink. Matte, cool pink. Okay, so Friday Night Lights, and then we watched Varsity Blues, um, which is one of Randy's favorite movies from childhood. And it's it stood up. I was, I've seen it before. I had forgotten about it. Damn, if John Voight isn't like the worst person who ever walked the planet in that movie. I was like, he's... In that movie and in real life. In, the, <laughs> in that movie and in real life. Fair. But like, it's just, it's so extreme. And I was like, God, that's so intense. And then, you know, Randy was like, I honestly feel like that's, I mean, all, always accurate with like Texas high school football coaches, but sure it exists. I mean, it's that culture is so bananas. It's just crazy. Pamela Willis watched that today. Pamela Willis. That's creepy. <laughs> you watched Varsity Blues today too? How random is that? Um, and yeah, it was good. I liked, I mean, you know, <laughs> just lots of 90s fashion. James Vanderbeek is giving us a very you know those jeans that were wide leg? They almost look like cargo jeans and they had all like the um like the loops on them. Just like a giant, almost like, yeah, just like the widest leg jean you could think of. And it's it's almost it's silly to see now. It's just like those v-necks with like those beaded, almost like puka shell necklaces, and then like the giant wide leg jeans. No. I'm sorry, are we really supposed to take that seriously? It's just 
some things just don't stand the test of time, you know, and that's one of them. JNCO jeans, Jamie K said. Is that what they were called? Jinko jeans. Jinko jeans? Yeah. Okay. That's a no for me, dog. Those are terrible. Nobody ever pull those out. If you got them, Katrina, $15. Can you recommend one starter color from the Glossier line? One starter color. Um, thank you so much for the for the Venmo. What, um, are you talking about the cloud paint? What are you speaking about specifically? I think you're probably talking about cloud paint, right? Um, it's hard, it's hard because it just depends on the person. Um, my favorite, oh, cloud paint. Yes, Katrina Hemming, okay. My favorite is either pop, Beam, Beam, which is like a really pretty peachy shade, or I love Storm. I love Storm. It's just gorgeous. So that's what I would say. They're very, very different. So, you know. Okay, we're done with that. Teresa Byers, 80s fashion. Oh no, Teresa, this was 90s. Straight up 90s. Like this was, this is when we were in high school. It wasn't a good time for fashion. 90, what was it? 1999. 1999. Okay, now, now, I'm pulling it out. Okay, so we're gonna, this is a Katie Jane Hughes thing. I mean, I copied her full on in the, in this sense with the blush, mixing it with the Waleda. And um, I am, she used the, this exact brush. So this is the Refer 12 brush, which is a smudge brush. And um, I'm gonna do a bold lip. It's a matte, this is one of their retro mattes. This is the Flat Out Fabulous. Everything is linked below in the description box. Um, so it's a retro matte, which is like, I, the other favorite MAC lipstick I own is also a retro matte. And I think there are only five of them. And that is Relentlessly Red. So this is like a really beautiful, bright magenta. And I'm going to do a bold lip, but I'm going to, I'm going to use this to feather it and diffuse it. So wait, I'm going to put a little bit on to start with. And then I'm going to use this and buff it in. People are just living in the 90s over here on the chat. And what this also does, if you buff it in, you can use your finger too, but I've actually, this is a new technique for me and I love it because it really buffs it into the lip. So as the evening goes, if you're out and about, if you're out, not now, but some other time in history coming up later, um, <laughs> it's gonna buff it into your lips. So it's not, it's going to fade well throughout the evening. You know what I mean? It's gonna be almost like a lip, um, not a tint, but a lip. What's the word I'm looking for? Wow, I'm really lost tonight. A lip stain, stain. <sighs> a lip stain. So I put it on and then buff it out. Ooh, that ice is popping. Is my scarf from the old Navy? No, uh, my scarf is very old. It's like six years old from urban Outfitters.
what this is also going to do is kind of give the illusion of the line of your lip being bigger, like more never ending than it actually is, right? So you can kind of get away with buffing this out past your lip line, which is kind of the look of it. And no one's really gonna care <laughs> because you can't tell where it is. You know what I mean? It's kind of a smoke and mirror situation. Mm. And I always have to go back in because I have all of a sudden my lip just goes into nowhere. Nowhereville. So I don't want to make sure, I want to make sure that I don't get outside of the lines there. But do you see, do you, do you see how lips aren't this big? Okay. They're just not. <laughs> um, I wish they were, but they're not. And so it really does give the illusion of you having more lip than you do. I'm all about the soft lines, guys. I mean, I, I have to say, like, I do have a, a, um, a lip liner I could have used, which I'm not against that either, but there's something about this that's so um, flattering. Yes. Maybe just like a little bit more and then we're done. Just to really make sure it's bright. There's something really satisfying about using a brush to blend this in. <laughs> Okay, I think that's perfect. So, yes, yes. Okay, so we're done with the lips. And now we're gonna do the highlighter and then we're done. I'm loving that application technique. Yes, Katie Jane Hughes, I appreciate you. Ann Moser, are you using a bronze? Bronzer summer. Uh, yes, I used, I was, did the whole bronzer earlier. I used the Kosas bronzer. That's all this is. Again, if you're wondering, if you're curious, everything is in the description box. Okay, so now I'm going to take this highlighter. This is the Glossier Nightshine Highlighter Concentrate in the shade um, Pink Pearl. This is beautiful and I feel like this is just gets really underplayed. Like no one talks about this product. I love my Halo Scope, okay? I'm probably gonna, if I had to choose, I just, the Halo Scope is so easy. It's so easy to apply. This, but this is, it's just different, but it's equally gorgeous. I mean, this is more blingy, right? This is more like pigmented. Oh, the clavicle. Oh, that's a good idea. CC's like, do it on the clavicle. That's actually really... Does it set down? Yes. This is actually like it's already drying. It's not... Ta I can't... I can't do like a tacky like stuff that... I have the milk skin gloss and I really wanted to like it and I like the look of it. 
but I've tried it on my eyes and my cheek and it's just like, it just feels like a wet gloss. I'm, I don't, I can't do that. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, Vivian Haig, this is one of your most beautiful looks. Thank you. Just do a little bit, <laughs> but just a little bit more, you know. Oh, people are like telling, oh, class of 77, okay. Okay, so I just love that. And it actually, when you when you blend it out with your finger, I think it looks pretty damn natural. Um, it's beautiful, it's just beautiful. This comes in different shades. Um, yeah, I think there's like a bronzy shade and anyway, whatever, I love it. Um, okay, now I think I'm done. <laughs> I think I'm done. Um, there was something else I was going to do. What was it? What was it? No, I think that's it. I think we're done. So anyway, this is, a, oh, the clavicle. <laughs> the clavicle. The clav, if you will. I don't, see, this is such a tiny applicator, like my, and my clavicle's large. So, okay, here we go. Oh, you weren't wrong. <laughs> oh, but you weren't wrong though. The cloud bones, you better get them bones. Yes, look at that shine. <laughs> it's good, it's really good. Boop. Boop. It's like body painting. Okay, well, that's just a really great idea, CC. CC for the win, everyone. Slow clap. Oh my goodness. Well, that, now, now we're done. Oh, for goodness sakes. Mm. Well, even though we used a few less products, it certainly didn't feel like it, did it? <laughs> I made up for it in my application technique. So anyway, everything I used here tonight is in the description box. You can find everything there, including with some of phalanges here, my nail color. Um, and what are the things I want to tell you? Yes. So again, I want to mention that my merch is going to be on sale starting tomorrow night, midnight Eastern Standard Time. And I, if you aren't following me on the gram, follow me on the gram at Kate the Great Beauty because I always like put up um, notifications on my stories and let you know anytime, let you know what the code is. I'll also be putting out a proper video tomorrow where I will be linking the code. So anyway, code is lucky. It's L-U-C-K-Y-Y, -Y, two Ys. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up before you leave, please do, oh wow, you guys did a great job. You did a great job. Um, doing a thumbs up. Um, please make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And as always, if you guys are so inclined, I would love it if you would take any one of my videos and share it on the social meds because it really, really helps me out. Thank you guys for being the best. Thank you all for everything, for being here. The super chats, the Venmos were like insane today. Thank you for listening to me rant. Thank you for watching me, uh, watching me drop shit on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and I will see you on Friday at 7 p.m. Cheers till next time. Bye.